What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about Jeepers Creepers 5 in this video here again today. So we're going to start at the top. For anyone that grew up with the first two Jeepers Creepers, you know Myriad Pictures was involved with producing that second film and they were part of the third film as well. And knowing what I do now, and I know a lot of you know this too, it would only make sense to assume that this company had some legal rights to the IP, which they do. And it is kind of bizarre that when Jeepers Creepers 4 was announced, they were nowhere to be found. In 2020, early reports were claiming that Jeepers Creepers 4 was in development and Kirk D'Amico, who was the head of Myriad Pictures, stated on Twitter that this was not true. Then, his ignorance to the subject became more understanding in early 2021 when Variety reported that Jeepers Creepers Reborn was releasing later that fall with Timo Verinsola directing, Screen Media distributing, Michael O'Hoven producing through his company Infinity Films as they have rights to produce these movies according to sources I'm in contact with. But American Zoltrop, as far as I can tell, is still the company or still the primary rights holder to the IP. Now, a lawsuit regarding Myriad Pictures rights to the franchise being tampered with began in March 2021, and it's been ongoing ever since. It was the reason we didn't get much promo for the last Jeepers Creepers project. Crew members are alleging that the project had unsafe work environments. People allegedly lost their homes. The producers were referred to as thugs, and they weren't even compensated fairly, according to, again, these alleged claims from a crew member. This next bit isn't alleged. But these clowns also, for anyone who stayed and watched the full credits of Reborn, they had the nerve to dedicate the film to Salva's victim. Like, again, how out of touch can you be? See, my latest video pinpointed where this series went wrong, and I believe it went wrong when the series creator went begging to Michael O'Hoven to get Jeebus Creepers 3 made back in 2016, because now we have Jake Seal in the middle of it all, and this man has lawsuits every which way you turn, and some of them are in other countries. You can literally search Jeepers Creepers 3 lawsuit or Jake Sill lawsuit, and several things are likely to populate. It's absolutely ridiculous. I've told you guys that they intend to make a Jeepers Creepers 5, and that still seems to be the case. Sean Michael Argo, who wrote the fifth film, has made this known. Timo Verinsola has admitted he isn't directing and cited trauma as the reason, but I'm sure several people couldn't care less. Although, again, I will say, if you are harassing that man, you aren't helping any thing and it's not that deep more recently this is our update on jeepers creepers 5 because now it's also resurfacing in this lawsuit that's still ongoing with four and a jury trial is still set to occur in early 2024 in a second amendment complaint from this past july myriad pictures is alleging that a present controversy exists between themselves and the producers behind jeepers creepers 4 concerning their respective obligations and rights with respect to jeepers creepers 4 and 5 and these controversies include, but are not limited to, Myriad's contention that it has a right of first negotiation and last refusal with respect to the with respect to the international distribution of Jeepers Creepers projects, including a fifth Jeepers Creepers motion picture. Myriad Pictures alleges that the proposed cause of action for declaratory relief arises out of the same operative facts from the first uh from the first admitted claim or whatever this FAC stands for as it relates to defendants efforts to move forward with a fifth installment in the Jeepers Creeper series without Myriad's participation once again as evident or as evidenced by recent discovery. Therefore, a judicial declaration of the party's respective rights and duties under the co-finance agreement in terms is necessary to prevent a multiplicity of lawsuits. Myriad also asserts that the motion is timely as the trial is six months away and discovery, if any, would be limited to the declaratory relief claim. So this new court update makes it apparent that Jeepers Creepers 5 is in some sort of development and that the people behind 4 are indeed working on it. We know that they've had it over on their website or oralstudios.com has like a listing for Jeepers Creepers 5 but now the fact that they are referencing efforts to make the movie in this lawsuit tells me that there's some attempts to get it going they still want to do a fifth project and they were trying to seemingly do it allegedly according to this lawsuit without myriad pictures once again so this movie will remain in development until this lawsuit is settled. It'll remain in development hell, and it probably should be canned, honestly. I'd imagine the ultimate end result would be Infinity Films stops this nonsense of not including Myriad Pictures in projects, but that doesn't mean that a good film would be on the way just because Myriad Pictures is having their, having their legally obligated rights respected. Keep in mind, 
Myriad simply just again wants to have justice in regards to the rights to this IP, their rights to this IP. However, that doesn't mean Myriad cares about the overall film quality. At the end of the day, I still think we really need Jake Seal removed. We need competent filmmakers involved. And no, we don't need a Trisha sequel. We simply just desire a sequel we've been told about for nearly 20 years. A Jeepers Creepers 2 sequel can exist in the same way that Jeepers Creepers 2 is a sequel to one and it's really not a continuation of that story at all besides just having details within the sequel that let us know it's set after the events of the first movie a jeepers creepers 2 sequel can introduce a new crop of characters taggart senior can be killed in the opening with someone else in the role if necessary and jack jr can easily be recast if they want to include him but i tell a story about the creeper targeting a fresh batch of characters who were born 23 years ago during its last reign they don't believe in the legends their parents have told them about and now they're going to find out that the monster is very real and it's back it can be a contained story similar to the first film all people want is a competent sequel to that second film that is all jeepers creepers fans want and honestly if these are the people who have the rights and if this is how they're going to treat it you have to probably just prepare yourself to have trash after trash after trash new entry until the rights are no longer in their possession it is unfortunate that one monster was slain and a new crop of monsters have seemingly taken over. They screwed him over too, but again, in a lot of ways you can argue, this is the series creator's own, car own karma for his own disgusting actions. Your IP that you wanted to have thriving, well, to his credit, he never wanted to do a second film or a third film, but your IP that you attempted to thrive off of, because none of your other projects were hits, you aren't able to thrive off of them, sir, because you are someone who is a disgusting human being, and now the, the, the IP is out of your hands, it's into the hands of a new batch of monsters, and the people who would just love to see the IP thrive without all of these shackles holding it back, we can't get it because we have incompetency after... Mo just so much is going on that is not right with this IP right now. We need to have competent filmmakers involved. That is all we need. That is the primary thing we need. Let me know what you guys think about this update down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. I'm using movies, news, or reviews. I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.